Right now, our power plants are the source of about a third of America's carbon pollution. That's more pollution than our cars, our airplanes, and our homes generate combined. That pollution contributes to climate change, which degrades the air our kids breathe. But there have never been federal limits on the amount of carbon that power plants can dump into the air. Think about that. A new report and a major alert about the speed of climate change on this planet. Hundreds of scientists from around the globe saying today there is evidence that global warming is accelerating. Sea levels rising, greenhouse gases mounting, glaciers melting. And for the first time, a government-backed report links the recent wild weather to man-made causes. With the suggestion that you investigate the wonderful advantages of this year's new air conditioners. You know air conditioning not only cools the air in your home, but it filters it. Did you know that on average, New York City uses around 11,000 megawatts of electricity per day? With around two-thirds of electricity used to power New York City's large skyscrapers and commuter train lines. According to recent reports, New York City has been titled to be one of the world's most wasteful megacities in terms of waste and more specifically, electricity consumption. Within recent years, the demands on electricity have been growing at a continuous rate. Some say it may be due to an increase in urbanization, and they may be right. The state of New York specifically generates most of its electricity from natural gas and from nuclear power plants. As the Earth continues to get warmer due to the effects of global warming, electricity consumption throughout the world is going through the roof, as populations are constantly using it for domestic use to keep their homes cool. Not only do air coolants use electricity, but heat generators as well. Question is, how can we make it so we can mitigate the amounts of power consumption we use? And if possible, how can we as Americans Let's make America great again. Leave positive examples for other energy-reliant countries. In order to find the solutions to this question, we need to see if others are informed about this. What better way to find out about this than a questionnaire? For the questionnaire, I have surveyed around 25 people on how long do you keep your air conditioner on, as well as heaters, how much time do you spend in your own home, which electronic appliances would you say you use the most, how long do you use those electronic appliances? And last but not least, do you know how much electricity you're using per month? A large majority of people that answered for question number one use or keep on these appliances for more than five or more hours. For those who answered question number two, it was quite surprising that the majority of people spend the majority of their time at home. You're good. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. I was on a totally different track. For question number three, computers, smartphones, and air conditioners were used most often. Question four averaged in, in around five to seven hours of daily usage of these products. And question number five, almost everyone that I surveyed had no idea how much electricity they used on a monthly basis. To further explore a possible solution to my question on how to mitigate power consumption, I interviewed a professional who is quite familiar with the terms energy efficiency and conservation. And no, I'm not talking about the Geek Squad at Best Buy, but from a representative at Energy Star. Since my recordings of the conversation never managed to make it onto here, I do have the transcript of the basic concepts and understandings of what was said during the conversation, as well as the questions asked. One of the first questions I asked was, what exactly is Energy Star? Energy Star representative <laughs> said, Energy Star is a program dedicated on helping consumers purchase the most efficient and energy saving appliances. Their main goal is to help provide aid to those who want to spend less and help the environment more. Other questions also included, what kind of products do Energy Star labels appear on? She responded saying that their Energy Star labels appear most frequently on kitchen and home appliances such as washers, dryers, and refrigerators, but they also certify homes and buildings based on Energy Star ratings given by the EPA. Some of those requirements can be found on the Energy Star website. One of my last questions was, how do energy efficient products help the environment? 
She responded saying that electricity is primarily generated through the use of coal and oil in regions across the world, America included, and with energy efficient products, it helps reduce energy consumption compared to other products as well as relieving some electricity bills. Some striking pieces of information I've gathered from both the survey and the interview is that most people that used or have purchased electronic appliances were not aware of where their electricity is coming from and how they can lower their energy usage. So I've decided to create a poster displaying information on where most electricity is generated and what you can do to reduce energy consumption and increase energy efficiency in your homes. Since the resources in our world are so finite, especially our fossil fuels, I decided that I personally pledge to turn off my air conditioner when using it during cool weather. I will also pledge to turn off my computer once in a while and go outside. A few moments later. Sometimes. I also pledge that I will encourage my friends and relatives to do the same. I would like to thank Energy Star and reporters at State of the Planet over at Columbia University for their continued research and information used for this video. Thank you. I'm Lily Rock on any block. I'm Lily Rock on any block. I'm Lily Rock on any block.